I'm going to ask all the speakers to come back up, actually, just now, except for Mahendra, who's there, because we'll have a couple of minutes for questions and answers while these guys get various things sorted out. So does anyone have any... Well, actually, does anyone have any burning questions first before I get them all to come up? Or can we just take them in the audience? So any questions about Sarif? Questions about the integration with St. Andrews, OpenBiz, Beacons? Okay. Well, I, I would have to say, um, where's, where's Heather? I think the, um, the, the, the whole Beacons and the, the engagement, I like the whole kind of pathways to, to research. I thought that was all very interesting. So do you think you're going to, are you finding you're going to be more involved in kind of working with impact narratives and various things with the REF 2014 with institutions, you know, looking at, looking at some of that and the, the engagement side of things, or is that? We're working with, um, I mean, we're there, I think, I think we find we're working more with individual researchers to, in the forward planning of getting uh, new grants and, and filling that, um, the aspect of the pathways to impact that they have to fill in. Um, but um, what we've, I think we've, kind of step back from the impact agenda in a sense because we're not, as we say, we're not impact, but we're working with people that they can put public engagement within that only when it has had impact directly. Okay. Ian, are you ready or are you? No, no, I'm just going to keep going. Just You're just going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. i just sort of karaoke or something. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, sin if you want, but no, no, no. Um, well, I think the, the Serify project, I mean, I think that's some really interesting work looking at that. I mean, apart, obviously, I was slightly scarred by the Excel spreadsheet, um, but I think it's good to work a bit of XML and a bit of Serif in, especially of a, you know, a Thursday afternoon. Um, but, you know, in terms of the work that you've been doing with that, you said you're going to be handing it over to, uh, to Queen's, so are they, no, I don't know, are they, are they ready for this yet? <laughs> Um, I think, well, how do, you see, how do you see that work kind of developing and taking it forward? Yeah, I mean, that's just part of what, what we're doing. So we're taking the uh, information from the data on researchers in our four partner institutions, putting it into the TCD Chris as a kind of a, or not the TCD Chris, into the Serif, um, uh, Serified Chris, and uh, creating Serif XML in order to exchange it with uh, Thomson Reuters and pulling it back in again. So the Queen's side of it, which, as I say, would be a nice surprise, I hope, for Ricky and his team who are well capable of, uh, of doing this. They've been doing fantastic work in this. So we'll, we'll try and see if this is, we're, we're concerned to make sure that this is a practical um, uh, example of the data exchange. So we want to take a real institution and create the, um, in the exchange within that environment. So are they ready for it? I don't know if any of us are ready for it, but we need to try and do it anyway. Great, thank you very much. How are you guys doing? I can do more. Okay, well, Siobhan, I think the, the, yeah, the, 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 the open biz stuff, I think, is, that, that's been, that's really interesting to see sort of the ongoing engagement that you're doing then and then sort of, sort of almost kind of brokering between the universities and, and sort of the, the comp and, and businesses. So, I mean, is there anything you want to say about some of the, the, the upcoming webinars that, that you're doing or... Thank you. Um, yes, I'll unashamedly plug our webinars and you can stay tuned to us on Twitter to be um, able to keep up to all our latest happenings. But we're planning one at the end of October, which will actually be hosted in Inverness. We've recently opened a regional office up in Inverness, so we really are covering all aspects of um, Scotland. And we're, re we're going to work with Glasgow School of Art, Strathclyde, and a couple of other partners there in looking at um, how businesses can innovate through design led innovation. So that's going to be quite in, in, um, interactive. We've got a number of businesses that have tapped into design led um, expertise. For example, a very small um, company that's developing um, mints, so a very healthy mint, but actually comes with a very affirmative message. And they've developed some unique packaging for that, tapping into expertise in Cal University of Cal um, Glasgow Caledonian. So um, that will be one highlight, but I'm sure we'll have lots of others at that event in Inverness. Mm -hmm.
Downloading the interface on app. Now, we have a question for you, actually. Ian, uh, yes, I do have you a have a question? It's not too cheeky. Sorry. It's a slightly cheeky question. Um, next year, we have a slightly larger conference here, repositories orientated. And one of the things that would be really good is to actually engage with businesses, to get businesses involved in our conferences. Because you know, we do research and there's a lot there. How easy is it going to be to get businesses down to things like this? To get businesses involved in repositories and research data and sharing and all these things that you've been starting with? It's a really interesting question because one of the whole um, objectives of really starting OpenBiz was to get businesses more thinking about access to resources through publications. And I know JISC themselves have commissioned other work which is looking at um, access and open access and how much businesses actually do tap in. Um, we can try and get businesses. I know that businesses are particularly interested in... Um, finding better ways of kind of searching databases, etc. But equally well, um, you know, we've done some really interesting studies about rate of return from business, uh, for businesses on social media aspects. So I think, again, with a lot of the, the developments in that area, there might be a compelling reason for them to come along. Thank you very much.